Welcome back to what I believe should be episode three of 60 Seconds. If it's not three, somebody correct me. But anyways, we got another movie. I think it's three. It's definitely three. We got another movie. It's called Thunder Force. New new movie on Netflix. Review is coming out tomorrow, unless you're not watching this on Saturday. Whatever is what it is. Regardless, you know how the segment works. Nat, take us away. What do you think? All right. Um... A very confusing, conflicting movie on my part. Uh, it's a typical like superhero movie. I know we've covered a few of these before. They're like you know the movies that like are superhero movies that aren't like the you know mainstream DC Marvel stuff. They have some like the classic comic book feel to it. But at the same time, this one tries to like go above and beyond the cringe side, and they do some whack things. Um, they do have some good moments. Not gonna knock them on that. Like there were some good moments in this movie. Definitely some enjoyable parts. But overall. I don't know. It's just there's some questionable decisions to say the least in this movie. I think that's that's about wraps up all my thoughts. You know, just a really conflicting feeling. That's fair. That's fair. Well, we're gonna leave Sebastian last, so I'm gonna jump right into it here. I gotta agree with Nathaniel. I thought it was good. I thought it was bad, and I thought there's a lot right in the middle. We had some okay characters at times. Things got really weird really quickly, and did never seem to make any sense to why it got so weird so fast it didn't really fit so i thought that was a little bit jarring uh the plot bounces around a lot and like nathaniel said there is a lot of cringy moments it does do some things really good there's some really funny moments some really funny scenes there's some jokes that don't land at all we're not even going to talk about some of the weirder stuff but it's it's mediocre it sits right toes that line between a really funny good superhero movie and sort of one that felt like an hour and 45 minutes was just way too long, so. Um, yeah, this, the best word I could use to describe it is okay. It almost feels like this was a skit that they just tried to make a full movie out of. Um, and I mean, sometimes that works. There have been films that started out as like sketches that you'd see on SNL that they've made into like, I'm pretty sure Anchorman was something like that. I don't know though, but um. There's certain plots like that that can work, but here, like, yeah, there were some really good jokes. There were some really funny moments. There were a lot of cringy, cringy jokes, and um, the middle kind of slowed down and kind of got a little boring. Um, most of the heartfelt stuff didn't really land for me. Maybe it's just because I don't think they put enough into it at times. But um, I mean, if you're looking for something new, I mean. It's not the worst thing you could watch, but it's it's just it's a middle of the road movie. That's that's all I'll say on that. There you go. There's the boys opening thoughts. You want the full thoughts, the full review. Check it out tomorrow. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's content. I hope you had some laughs. I hope you come check us out again. And with that said, here you go, Nat. Yeah, if you're into any of our videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have some TV reviews and some gaming videos over there but if that's not your cup of tea we always have most of our content on a podcast form on apple Podcasts. you know check that out as well and if uh written stuff is more your more your caliber whether it's books or just written reviews nat's got a perfect option for you yeah exactly come visit our website www.prairiegreenreviews.com we have all your reading needs from books games movies and even tv show reviews if you want to stay up to date be sure to check out all of our social medias on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Get all the updates you need from our site. And with that said, from everyone here at the Prairie Garden Views team, see you guys next time.